Welcome back to Booster Vlogs. In this video, I'll be giving you a short review on Owen Lovejoy. January 6, 1811, March 25th, 1864. Owen Lovejoy was an American lawyer, congressional minister, abolitionist, a Republican congressman from Illinois. He was also a conductor on the Underground Railroad. After his brother Elijah Lovejoy was murdered in November 1837 by pro-slavery forces, Owen, a friend of Abraham Lincoln, became a leader of abolitionists in Illinois, condemning slavery and assisting runaway slaves in escaping to freedom. Brown and Alberino, Maine in 1811, Lovejoy was one of five brothers born to Elizabeth Patey and Dan Daniel Lovejoy, a congressional minister and farmer. He worked with his family on the farm until he was 18, and his parents encouraged his education. His father was a congressional minister, and his mother was very dev very dev a very devoted mother. Lovejoy attended Bowdoin College from 1830 to 1833. He studied law, but he never practiced. <coughs> Excuse me. Lovejoy migrated to Alton, Illinois, where his brother, where his older brother, Elijah Paris Lovejoy, had moved in 1836 from St. Louis because of hostility to his anti slavery activities. The older Lovejoy was by then an anti slavery minister who edited the Alton Observer an abolitionist newspaper. The younger brother studied theology there. Owen was present on the night of November the 7th, 1837, when his brother Elijah was murdered while trying to defend the printing press of the Illinois Anti-Slavery Society from an angry mob. He is reported to have sworn on his brother's grave to never forsake the cause that had been sprinkled with my brother's blood. Owen and his brother, Joseph C. Lovejoy, wrote Memoirs of Elijah P. Lovejoy, 1838, which was disputed, which was distributed widely by the American Anti-Slavery Society, increasing Elijah's fame after his death and adding to the abolitionist cause. Lovejoy served as a pastor of the Congressional Church in Princeton, Illinois from 1838 to 1856. During these years, he also organized a number of the 115 anti-slavery congressional churches in Illinois, begun by the American Missionary Association founded in 1846. His activities brought him increasingly public prominence. In 1854, Lovejoy was elected a member of the Illinois State Legislature. He worked with Abraham Lincoln and others to form the Republic Party, the Republican Party and the state. And he and Lincoln, Lincoln remained close friends. In 1856, he was elected as Republican from Illinois and representative to the 35th United States Congress and seceded Congress, serving from March 4th, 1857, until his death. In February 1859, Lovejoy responded to the Democrats, charging that by aiding runaway slaves and opposing slavery, he was a Negro stealer, saying on the floor of Congress that proclaim it upon the housetops, write it upon every leaf that trembles in the forest, make it blaze from the sun at high noon and shine forth in the radiance of every star that berocks the fragment of God. Let it echo through all of the arches of heaven and rebirth below all of the deep globes of hell, where slave catchers will be very likely to hear. Owens Lovejoy lives at Princeton, 
Illinois, three quarters of a mile east of the village, and he aids every fugitive that comes to his door and, and acts it. Thou invisible demon of slavery, dost thou think to cross my humble threshold and forbid me to give bread to the hungry and shelter to the houseless? I bid your defiance in the name of my God. I had to give that brother there, <coughs> excuse me, Mr. Owen Lovejoy, a round of applause. If you're new to the channel, hit that.